Hi, it's Yoti Carlson here. I love a good rock and roll documentary, and a few years back we got one of the best ones of recent memory, that being David Crosby, Remember My Name. David Crosby, of course, was a member of the Birds back in the 60s, but he really rose to fame when he joined up with Stephen Stills, Graham Nash, and Neil Young, and made some of the greatest music of all time. David Crosby's had a great musical journey, but it's not been one without its challenges, and he's certainly dealt with addiction and other vices. And this documentary looks into many aspects of his life and where he's ended up, including his estrangement from his former bandmates. I've always loved the music of David Crosby, regardless of what band he's playing with, and it's nice to finally get a documentary that looks into this guy's past and, at the time of the release, his present. Seeing how much great music this guy created is certainly something that doesn't need to be said again, but a look into his vices and downfall, those are things that absolutely need to be explored, and this film does that beautifully. I mean, you go from seeing him having a great camaraderie with his fellow musicians, right down to a point where he says he doesn't even know contact information for Stephen Stills, Graham Nash, and Neil Young anymore because he's alienated himself from them so much over the years to the point that they don't want to work with him anymore. You didn't get to see what the final concert was they did together, and I'm not going to spoil what that is in this video. When it comes to rock and roll, I absolutely love a great rock doc, and David Crosby, Remember My Name, is absolutely that. I don't want to get too into details here, but I will say this. If you are a fan, this absolutely does justice to the man. Sadly, he passed away not terribly long ago. He was still alive when the movie came out, but his recent passing makes it hit even harder. So, I can strongly recommend this movie to anyone who's a fan of David Crosby or just rock music in general. Picture quality on the Blu-ray disc is actually really good, although obviously some of the older archival scenes don't look the best. But overall, no real major complaints here. A highly recommended release, regardless of your taste. How about you? Did you have a chance to see David Crosby remember my name yet? Do you think it's one of the best rock docs you've ever seen? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more comics. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure to give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.